you can see, we're working on a 2001 GMC 2500 HD. This has the Duramax 6.6 .6 liter in it. And the customer complaint is that it basically seems like it's lost the will to live. I mean, it's smoking, big clouds of smoke. That's the biggest thing. Um, it's having trouble starting. You can see it's got some significant blow by. It's just not in good sorts. So we're going to do a few things to it. Uh, long story short, we got it figured out and it wasn't that expensive. We got the smoke to stop. Um, there's the smoke we're talking about. When you rev the engine up or driving down the street, it was really bad. So we found a whole bunch of different problems that were causing the symptoms. Again, the symptoms, the smoke was a big thing, hard starting and just a loss of power. And it was just a little bit uh, funky when you give it the accelerator pedal. It just wasn't smooth like it used to be. So with the blow by, with the smoke, with all these things, I'm thinking worst case scenario. I'm thinking, you know, first of all, with the smoke, I'm thinking the injectors are shot. You know, that happens on these. Uh, the next thing I was thinking is that piston rings, you know, worst case scenario kind of stuff. So like I say, you rev it up going down the street and every motorcycle, pedestrian, uh, Prius driving, save the planet type, it just browbeat you. So there you go. So that's no good. So we worked on this thing and uh, we figured it out. Let me show you some of the symptoms that I had discovered. I want to make sure that there's not a problem with the turbo, so we check the turbo outlet. It's got a little bit of dirt, dirt and dust, but no oil or anything of that nature. So we take a look at the fuel filter and the fuel filter head to see what's going on with that. You can see that there's some wetness and some fuel. This can cause hard starting on any diesel. If you have any air that's introduced before the injection pump, it'll suck in that air. You know, and you can see we pressurize it with the, with the bleeder button and it's just leaking everywhere which shows that when it's running it's probably sucking air and making it hard to start so you can get a kit to rebuild these there's a number of places I'll put some links in the description on where to find a filter head rebuild kit if you had, try to get it through the dealership they sell you the whole thing 800 bucks okay so here's the same truck that you just saw smoking and I got some advice from a guy that does nothing but Duramaxes and he says change a fuel filter so we're gonna try that we're gonna do a new fuel filter and then while I have this torn apart, I'm going to tear into this part here and change the O-rings inside there and see if I can get that to not leak at the same time. You got a line in, a line out, they're clearly marked. These don't have any O-rings on them, you don't have to worry about that. There's a whole bunch of layers into this, I actually got a printout. I went in to get the thing and she handed me this and said no which part do you need exactly I say well I need the o-ring kit or I need all the different o-rings in this thing it's leaking she's like sure no problem so I'm like can I just get number four or is that not doable and she's like okay well it only comes as number one well number one is the filter the o-ring the sensor it's everything I'm like mm, fantastic let's rebuild it on the workbench I bet I have O-rings for that. So, put a plug in the uh, thing so I don't lose everything down the hole. You don't want to lose little washers or screws or any of that stuff. Certainly not. Well, here we go. We need to get to an O-ring that's inside of here because that's where you saw the fuel and the air coming out. Just right there. Before I go any further, I need to make a mental note that the one that goes here is the one for the ground cable. That makes sense because it was on the far side. Doesn't look too bad. Set that on a clean rag. They actually look pretty good, as they should be because it's got diesel fuel on it, which is basically oil. So far nothing went flying or went crazy or teeny tiny little so that would have been lost. Alright, let's look at our cheat sheet here. So at this point we've got the plunger and a few other things off, but there should be a spring and a check ball and an o-ring there. Gently. They have this in stock. <laughs> if we don't 
repair this. It's garbage. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's just classic. So this is where it was leaking from. I don't see any o-ring at all on that because it's crushed up in there. But the o-ring we need is the one that's just inside there. That printout just saved my bacon knowing that there's a check ball that's supposed to be there. See it shows o-ring, spring, check ball. Try assembling this without a check ball. I think you'll find not going to have much luck. There's your o-ring here. Here's your spring. And our check ball is just going to drop down in there. And we just need to get a good o-ring that can seal around the outside of this and fit inside of there. So there's my special o-ring tool for that. It's a dental pick that's been bent back around. Just get in sideways and hook it around without cutting it. Just for all those o-rings that you want to get. So I'll show you what I mean. So you sneak in behind it. Get it out nice and blunt. There you go. Just scoop it up. So that's the o-ring that's leaking in this case. So we'll replace that because it's creating a hard start issue and if you have the filter off now would be the right time to do that. Blah. Sounds like a frog. Alright so this one went on this side. I don't think it matters. I think that they're equilateral triangles. You ever watch that film in school? Yeah, film! Hooray, film! So I only have two screws for this. Got one for here and one for here. It'd be cool to get this all done today. Cat's pajamas. Nobody says that and nobody says the bee's knees. Sure these are all sitting down nice and pretty. Don't crush the plastic part and ruin it and wind up having to spend $700 anyway. Remember I met one guy in Napa this one time, this older guy, and he's like, well I need a kit for this or kit for that or all this. He's like, sorry sir, you gotta buy the whole, I think it was a rack and pinion, that's what it was. He's like, sorry sir, you gotta buy the whole rack and pinion. He's like, does anybody fix things anymore? Is anybody a real mechanic or are you all just part swappers? I always remembered that. I was like, really? You guys used to fix things? <laughs> Nobody does that. I kind of got interested. It made me want to be that guy that can fix things. So I started working harder at keeping stuff like O-rings. Because you can't find them sometimes. And if you can't find them, you don't have access. You can't fix things. Alright. Deja vu. Seems like I remember seeing something like this before. Let's look at the o-ring on this little screw. It's often overlooked thing that can create a leak. We're not talking vegetables either. Come on, get happy! Yeah, that o-ring sucks. We're going to replace that one too. Because why not? We're in there. You clear off a little workspace. Put away this parfait dish. I got all these small plugs from wrecking yard engines and fuel pumps and things that I bought. I got all these O-rings all over the place. So lucky. Sometimes you make your own luck. I like that. Ricky Carmichael I was watching the so the Great Outdoors. What video was that? Something. Any something like any given Sunday or whatever. One of the motocross movies. Watching Ricky Carmichael, he's like, you know, I believe that sometimes you make your own luck. I'm like, way to go, goat. That's a great quote. Goat's his nickname. Prying this up by the smooth part of the tool. So if I have to reuse it, I can. It's way the hell, way the goodness too big. Today I was going to not complain the whole day. That was my goal. I saw this quote, it's on Facebook. And everybody's saying, you know, see if you can go a whole day without complaining. I'm like, brilliant, let's do that. Yeah, right. Well, let's try that and see how that works. It sticks out too fat. It doesn't go down in the hole. It just bunches up right there, but it sure plugs up the gap. And it holds it really good, too. I can't do it. I want OEM 
kind of thing going on. Alright, I'll try another one. I can't be so picky. Because it's designed that way. I know, but seriously. I'm going to be all schizo now. First it starts with narrating videos. Then it starts with talking to yourself. And then before you know it, you're a schizo and you're arguing with your own dang self. Like there's two people at the helm. Can't have two captains. Two Indian, two chiefs. Here are these colorful O-rings, huh? This one's also for gasoline. Let's put this on the screw, see how it do. I think it's going to be too fat as well. That holds the O-ring in a little bit. If it's just squished in there, pressure can push it out. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, well there's our little rebuild thing. I'm going to put it back together and I'll show you the result. So, I've gone ahead and replaced that O-ring down in here. But anyway, as we pump this now, you can see nothing. Nothing's leaking. And it actually gets really tight really quick now. Way better. So that's better. We got the factory filter, AC Delco filter on there as this, as prescribed. Let's go ahead and start this up. It's been sitting all night. Probably should have had the cord on it, but Starts better than it used to. That's better than when it was warmed up if you just had it running. So far there's not a lot of white smoke. That's actually really good. Start up, the smoke's low. It's not valve stem seals. Smells like fuel. Looks like the smoke's increasing. Yeah, the smoke's actually increasing rather than decreasing. Usually you get the most on startup and then it's less. This is very less. Now it's going back to more and more. But it smells more and more. That's a sign of an injector. As the injector continues to leak, it accumulates in the cylinder. I think we've got a, an injector issue. If you drive it like that with an injector that's, yeah, it's getting more and more and more. Look at that. So there's a lot of smoke it's accumulating. Well, just getting worse and worse. That's all I'm trying to say. So it sounds a lot better now. It sounded really rough when I first started it up. They often do. So, is it smoking? It's actually quite a bit less. It's really cold outside right now. But you can still see it's still smoking. I put a quart of transmission fluid in with the fuel by the recommendation of the guy at the transmission shop that's a Duramax expert. So we're gonna run it for a little bit with a new uh, factory filter. Factory filter, of course, is the AC Delco. You can't see the tag, but everything else is AC Delco in this, even the batteries itself. We'll see what this does, see how it goes. So that is kind of a pain. It's freezing cold today. So I've since moved away. I checked back with the owner of the truck, and he's been running it back and forth. Uh, over state lines and I asked him how's it going you know I was expecting to have to do the injectors on it I quoted them out got everything all figured out to do the injectors and as it turns out it cleaned up it quit smoking the transmission fluid did the trick um, I'd love to get some footage of it not smoking but I just got to take his word for it as far as the crankcase smoke I don't know what the deal is with that if that had to do with piston rings or what but the transmission fluid 
work as well as better than what we expected from uh, working the uh, transmission guy. No more big clouds and smoke like that. So, hope you enjoy the video. I'm gonna have to cut this one short. I am just way, 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 way tired. I just have a ton of projects lately. I've been trying to get everything up and going. Um, busy month, but I thought I'd share these uh, tips and tricks about the transmission fluid and just fixing the leaks that happen before the injector pump. These are really handy things to know if you're working on diesel. So, hope you enjoy it. Be sure to click like and uh, comment below. Cheers.